Okay, here is a analysis for Redcoin. Again, a daily chart. If you look at it on a linear scale, it hides out a lot of the lower price. peaks and valleys of the chart. That's why when you have it on a logarithmic scale, you normalize it. And it allows, especially on a daily or weekly or even monthly scale, easier visibility of the peaks and bottoms to be able to do a more effective count. So I just want to look at some of the patterns first. Let's draw some lines. What does this look like? So this was one of the patterns that we had discussed. <coughs> it's like a flag. Imagine this as a post, flag post. And this flag is blowing in the wind. And for these types of patterns, the significance is the direction of what is pointing downwards or upwards. When it's pointing downwards, it has a more bullish indication. It is a bullish consolidation. And it has tried to break out of the top line now twice. And it remains outside of it now. That is bullish. So how does this pattern fit into an Elliott wave count? Well, very easy. <coughs> Let's count it. Let's call this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Big, long, rounding bottom. One, two, three, four, five. So I want to come come back to this a little bit here. This looks familiar. Which cone do we know? Which cone do we know is currently undergoing something that looks just like this? You can call this the cup, a rounding bottom formation, the handle, which was long as hell. But what kind of a reward this is for that level of patience. And I see steam. doing the same thing and it will happen I'm pretty confident in steam I don't know of anyone else who has more confidence in steam than Jerry Banfield and for the right reasons he is very bullish in steam I'm on his boat <coughs> so he has two patterns 
top and handle pattern. There's a second one, a bullish flag. And these patterns mesh so well with the Elliott wave counts of one, two, three, four, five. It may take one more dip to the um, now support line. This is pretty bullish, in my opinion. And when you come here, sometime in Q1, Q2 of, let's say, 2018, prices are 0 0.001 to 6 of a penny. Target is then to 1.4 of a penny. That kind of a profit potential is massive, in my opinion. Absolutely delicious. And good, that's in minor. How will this? pathway look like? It has to be an impulse. Maybe one here. One's already in. Two, three, four, five. What a beauty. That's all I can say. And it's just perfect how the patterns can be used in combination with alien waves. Bottom formation, the handle, which was long as hell. What kind of a reward this is for that level of patience. And I see steam. Poof, doing the same thing. And it will happen, I'm pretty confident in steam. I don't know of anyone else who has more confidence in steam than Jerry Banfield. And for the right reasons, he is very bullish in steam. I'm on his boat. <coughs> so he has two patterns, cup and handle pattern. He has a second one, a bullish flag. And these patterns mesh so well with the Elliott wave counts of one, two, three, four, five. It may take one more dip to the um, now support line. This is pretty bullish in my opinion. And when you come here, sometime in Q1, Q2 of let's say, 2018, prices are 0 0.001 to 6 of a penny. Target is then to 1.4 of a penny. That kind of a profit potential is Massive, in my opinion. Absolutely delicious. And good, that's in minor. How will this pathway look like? 
it has to be an impulse. It may be one here, one's already in, two, three, four, five. It is a bullish consolidation. And it has tried to break out of the top line now twice. And it remains outside of it now. That is bullish. So how does this pattern fit into an Elliott wave count? Well, very easy. <coughs> Let's count it. Let's call this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Big, long rounding bottom. So one, two, three, four. five. So I want to come, come back to this a little bit here. This looks familiar. Which cone do we know? Which cone do we know is currently undergoing something that looks just like this? You can call this the cup, a rounding bottom formation, the handle, which was long as hell. But what kind of a reward this is for that level of patience. And I see steam. Poof, doing the same thing. And it will happen, I'm pretty confident in STEAM. I don't know of anyone else who has more confidence in STEAM than Jerry Banfield. And for the right reasons, he is very bullish in STEAM. I'm on his boat. 